Well, hey there. Welcome to the clock workshop. Here we tinker with all sorts of wonderful clocks to make sure we all keep saying tick tock. Thanks for joining us today. You know, sometimes we even have to travel through time into different places to get the job done on these clocks. Are you ready to join in? All right, let's start. Hi friends, Miss Vicki here, and welcome back to Dr. Talk's Magical Clock Shop. I hope we're going to have a terrific time today. Are you here to help me again? That is wonderful. You know, today's a really special day, but we'll get to that later. Let's begin our time together with our opening prayer and, of course, our opening song. And let's see what might need some fixing today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when you died on the cross, your disciples felt great sadness. But when you rose again from the dead and visited them in your Easter glory, their joy knew no bounds. Thanks to your death and resurrection, we know that we too have been raised to new life in you. Help us live for love and avoid sin just as you did, that one day we too may rise from the dead and be with you forever and ever. Amen. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love everybody. I will do what you say. I will obey. Jesus, I will do what you say. I will obey. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God. And do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. We've got time to travel. We're gonna do what's right. We're gonna love everybody. And we'll always be kind. Jesus, I will do what you say. I will obey. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. No, friend, it looks like the musical clock is broken again. I don't know what keeps happening to this thing. Let's see. All right, friends, I need your help with this. Dr. Talk left me this note saying we need to find something that looks like this. Huh. He says it should be sharp, made out of metal, but shiny. And Round on the bottom. Hmm. What could this be? Do you have any ideas? Of course, a crown. That makes so much sense, especially today because it is the ascension of the Lord. And we are celebrating Jesus and him going back to heaven to be with his father. And we all know that Christ is our king. So we need to find a crown. All right, where can we travel to to find a crown? Hmm. A castle, of course. 
All right, friends, are you ready to travel to a castle and see if we can find a crown? Now, as always, remember to keep your hand and feet inside the traveling machine as we're going and always be kind to the people we meet along the way. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. All right, friends, let's go. Hickory dickory dock, we have to fix our clock. Now we know, so off we go. Hickory dickory dock. Greetings and welcome to my castle. My herald just informed me that you are searching for a royal crown. I am pleased to inform you that you have surely come to the right place. I would be honored to present a crown to you, but before you go, would you have time for a story? Yeah! Magnificent! To make sure you hear all of the story, you must click on your royal listening ears. Do it with me. Click, click, click. click. Wonderful! Now it's time to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. zoop. You look royally ready. My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible. According to Matthew, Jesus' eleven disciples went to the mountain in Galilee, where Jesus had told them to meet him. They saw him and they worshipped him, but some of them doubted. Jesus came to them and said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go to the people of all nations and make disciples of mine. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to do everything I have told you. I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks for taking the time to hear my story, and I almost forgot. Here's a special royal crown just for you. Farewell, friends. I hope you come back and visit again. Well, friends, I don't know about you, but I'm really glad to be back in this clock shop. But does that chain look familiar to any of you? You must just have one of those spaces, I guess. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about our gospel before we go in to making sure this clock is repaired, hopefully for the last time. But as I told you earlier, this gospel is for today, for the ascension of the Lord. Now, ascension is when Jesus goes back up to heaven to be with his father. These, and what we just heard in our story, are some of the final words he says to his disciples before he goes back to heaven. And he, his message to them isn't just for them, it's for all of us. Remember, we are all followers of Jesus. So what he says is something for us to learn, grow, and also do a lot of times. And what Jesus reminds his disciples to do is to go out into the world and he says to share the good news, to tell people about him to other people, to share the wonderful things they heard in Jesus and tell about the wonderful things Jesus did and what he taught us. It is our job to share that with others and to live that out every day by living like a follower of Jesus, by following the things that he wants to do and act in the ways as much as possible that he wants us to act, with being kind to one another, loving, and of course, always trying to grow closer to him through prayer, through our community at mass, and through service. And so what he was sharing with his disciples wasn't just for his disciples, it's for all of us to remember. Our job, each and every one of us, is to go out and to share the good news with everyone we meet. 
by what we do, by who we are, by how we present ourselves. All right, now, let I'm gonna go try to fix this clock and you are going to head over to confess your faith. And of course, we're going to bring all of our prayers to God today. And then I will join you back after that and hopefully this clock is finally fixed. Please stand for the profession of faith and respond to each question with, I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, who so loved the world that he sent Jesus to save it from sin and death? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who lived and died that all people might see the greatness of God's love for them? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit by whose power Jesus rose again from the dead on the third day? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of believers who await his return in glory? I do. Knowing that Jesus really is the Son of God and that God is love, let's entrust our Creator with all of our cares and concerns. Our response to each petition will be, Hear us, O Lord. That the love of Jesus will help our Holy Father, the Pope, and all church leaders know and do God's will. We pray, Hear us, O Lord. That the love of Jesus will keep our hearts free from jealousy and hatred. We pray, Hear us, O Lord. That the love of Jesus will comfort all in our parish who have recently lost loved ones to illness, injury, or old age, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. And what other prayers would you like to bring up today? For all of these, we pray. Hear us, O Lord. All right, friends, I've had so much fun with you today. Thank you so much for being my helpers. Now, I hope you will come back again to Dr. Talk's Clock Shop, and let's see what adventure we might have next. We still have two Sundays in Easter, and of course, our final Sunday in Easter is one of my favorite days all year, Pentecost. Oh, I can't wait to get there. So make sure you join me next week and join in on all the fun we're having here at Dr. Talk's Magical Clock Shop. All right, before we head over for our closing prayer and our closing song, we have to learn our memory verse again. How are you doing it, remembering it? So we remember that we are called to love, to be kind to others. Let's do it all together again. All right, we are called to love and be kind to others. Awesome job. Let's head over for our closing prayer and our closing song, and I'll see you back next time. Heavenly Father, we have seen for ourselves that Jesus really is your Son. May we so live our lives that his love will shine through our every thought, word, and action. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Everybody sing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, Everybody praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Well, Handy Helpers, thank you so much for working so hard today and helping me fix this clock. I hope that you can come back next week when we travel through time together again and maybe even fix this clock again. Now, to make sure you don't miss one, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you have the notification bell clicked on. 
so you'll be here right on time.